Black Friday, I think it's April 2nd, 10 p.m. Mountain. So good morning to those of you who have already already made it to November. Uh, good morning, good evening, good night, good day. My name is Holly, and I will be coming up by with you by 8 p.m. for this hour. Our topic that we will probably go over today is be a fun topic to do this before the day starts off. Hi Jada, how are you? Uh, Holly, I think something wrong with your microphone because I can't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, much better. <laughs> I had it muted. <laughs> so. Yes, it, your voice was too low. Yeah, and this, this mute isn't like perfect. It isn't a software mute, so it will work sometimes, but thanks for telling me. So. Hi Richard, hi Zaya. Hello teacher. How are you guys today? I'm really admiring uh, finding my problems <laughs> because I can't hear you. Can, can you, can you, can you hear me? Can you hear yeah. me now? Yeah, now, now we are. Yeah, I, Andre figured it out. It was, I had actually put this on mute right here. I, I yeah. moved it and of course I didn't know that you guys couldn't hear me. So. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um, that that's interesting. So, um, Zaya, remind me, you are from Mongolia, right? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Okay, Richard, where are you from? Hello there. Hi. Hi. I am from from Colombia. Colombia. Awesome. Okay. And where it is is it? It's still um, October, right? In Colombia. Yeah. Still. <laughs> Another 55 minutes or so. <laughs> okay. And Andre, you're from uh, Russia. Okay, awesome. All right. Well, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, this is a, a reading exercise. And, um, and vocabulary speaking basically everything. Hello, Teddy. Are you there? Okay. He, he's, have you guys been having trouble getting in and out of the class? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the last class uh, that I taught about four or five hours ago, I actually got kicked out. And then when I was get, coming back in, it was like in, out, in, out, in, out about five or six times. So <laughs> not yeah. sure not sure what it is. But anyway, yeah, at least we're not alone. Hi, Teddy. Can you hear me now? Yes, hello. Awesome. Where are you from, Teddy? I'm from Indonesia. Welcome. Wow. Welcome. So, what time is it in Indonesia? Uh, eleven o'clock. Eleven uh, a.m. Eleven. Uh, yes, a.m. Eleven a.m. Okay. So uh, we. And what time is it in, where you are, Andre? Uh, it is ten. Ten o'clock. Uh, ten o'clock. Okay. And yeah. Mongolia, what time is it? And then twelve, midnight, midday. Midday, so it's noon. Actually. So, so noon, noon. Okay, so we've got um, 
Uh, it's 10 p.m. here on Friday night, and uh, where Richard is in Colombia, it's 11 p.m. And then we've got, you know, Russia, Indonesia, and Malaysia. That's uh, already Saturday morning. Ha has your Saturday started out well? As usual. As usual. <laughs> Did you sleep in? That's the point. <laughs> Uh, no, I I got up earlier because I wanted to have a class with a few teacher. Okay, awesome, awesome, and, and I'm glad you were able to join join us today. J J Jabo, welcome. Where are you from, Jabo? I'm from Taiwan. Taiwan, Taiwan. awesome. Okay, you were in my class last week too, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I remember. I remember. I don't remember the name, but I remember the picture actually. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. And Odie, is it Odie or Adi? It's Odie. Odie. Okay, Odie. Because a lot of times in English, when you have the the O and two consonants after that, it's an ah sound. Like my name uh, is is Holly instead of Holy because of the because it's two consonants. So that's why I ask. So. Odi, where are you from? I come from Indonesia. Indonesia as well. Okay, we have two from Indonesia, Teddy and Odi. Okay, and so we've got uh, Andre from Russia, Jabo from is it Jabo or Jabo? Uh, Jabo. Jabo. Okay, Jabo from Taiwan, Odi from Indonesia, <coughs> Richard from Colombia, Teddy from Indonesia, and Zaya from. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Mongolia. <laughs> and then we've got Abimelech. Welcome, Abimelech. And he is from India. So we are a very international group today. So, all right. Well, let's go ahead and, and uh, start, the t start the topic today. We will do a sh uh, some vocabulary activities, a short reading, and so forth. Um, okay. Uh, Let's uh, first of all let's a answer this question. What do you think the title means? Tying the knot. Anyone? It's, it's, like, it's like a fast and something or, or I don't know. Something it is about the waiting. Get married. Get married. Get married. Uh, waiting. Make a commitment. A okay. Getting married, right? Something is there? Is it it's yes? Or yes. Or. Hello? Igor. Is Igor here? Hi, Marina. Oh, okay. Marina, remind me where you're from. Can you Hello. speak? Hello. Hi. Yes. What, where are you from, Marina? I'm from Russia. Russia. Okay, awesome. So we have three people from Russia, India, Taiwan, two people from Indonesia, Indonesia Colombia, and Mongolia. So we have a, a, full, a full house today. And a lot of people, a lot of different continents represented, great, represented countries represented. That's great. Okay, so tying the knot means to get married. Um, and uh, you, it doesn't really mean a wedding. Um, you know, where you can say where did you tie the knot? But uh, Igor writes a Russian party. That's good. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so tying the knot. Uh, okay, who here is married? Um, Abimelech, are you married? No, I'm Mr. Bitler. Uh, no, Andrew, are you married? Yes, I am. Yes, Igor? No, no, I'm not. Uh, I have no. a question here. Like, when you divorce, can you say, I've untied the knot? Uh, um, you know, it, it, that's an interesting, um, quite an interesting question. I've never heard that before. To untie the knot, but you know, I can see where people might actually say that if they thought of it. Yeah, so that's a, that's a good question. So <laughs> you can say it's like some kind of a joke. 
Yeah, you can say it as a joke, and people would people would understand. So, yeah, absolutely. Jabo, are you married? Mm, not yet. Yeah, okay, I'm... you're single too. Marina, are you married? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. And how about you, Odie? No. No. Okay, Richard. Single. Uh huh. Single. Okay, Richard, are you married? No, I'm not married. I'm However, not... I I live with my girl. <laughs> okay, so you so that's actually what we call, it's not uh, it's a common, common law marriage, in English. Yeah. So, Teddy, are you married? Yes, I am. Yes. Okay. And then Zaya, are you married? Yes, I am. Yes. Yeah, so we have three people here married. I am single. I'm I'm uh, what we would call an old maid and proud of it. So, um, but uh, okay. So those of you who are married can tell us those of us who say stuff about marriage whether we're right or wrong. <laughs> so okay. Before we read, let's match the expressions. We've got get the bride have make propose and have. Uh, Abimelech, can you uh, try to match one? And if you do not know, that's totally fine. Just say I do not know. Okay, uh, it's uh, get married. Okay, get married. Yes, the first one is get married. All right. Okay, and um, next person, Andre. Uh, the bride and groom. And groom, yes. Okay, and number three, Igor. Uh, have, have a reception. Um, uh, have no. a good time. Have a good have time. Have a good time, yeah. Have a good time. Okay. Also, I think you can have a speech. <laughs> yeah, um, um, you can you can have a speech, but it's not normal to say it that way. Jabo, can you do number four? Mm, make a speech, right? Make a speech, yes. Speech, okay. Propose, Mar Marina. What would you suggest on that one? Any idea? If you don't know, that's fine. Just say you don't know. Maybe she can't speak. Yeah, it was, yeah, she just dropped out, so maybe she can't speak. So Odie, she did speak for a second, though. <laughs> what would you say? Number five. Uh huh. Propose the toast. Yes, excellent, excellent. Propose the toast. Yes, and then number six, Richard. That would be. Uh, will we have have a speech or? Um. Or not. <laughs> well, actually, it would be have a reception. Oh, sorry. Yeah, have a reception. <laughs> have a reception. Okay. So, um, and uh, Teddy. Yes. Um, question for you. Um, so uh, you you said you were married, right? Yeah. Okay, so when did you get married? Uh, three years ago. Uh -huh. Okay. Was it a uh, big wedding reception? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay, awesome. In a All right. In a building. Excuse me? In a building. In a building? Okay. Building reception, yes. Uh huh. All right. All right, Isaiah. Um, you said you were married too. Did you have a reception? I don't. I don't. We don't have maybe. I'm married in a traditional, uh, traditional customs according to the in a countryside. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. A reception, I think. Yes. Okay. Okay. So no party afterwards. So, okay, that'll be interesting to hear about the customs, though, in, then in Mongolia. Awesome. Um, I, Abimelech, Abimelech um, have you ever um, proposed a toast at a wedding? Uh, sorry, I don't understand this phrase. Okay, to propose a toast. Can anybody explain that to Abimelech? 
I can try. Okay. Uh, it is a give a little speech, and uh, you during that speech you are saying some uh, wishes for the couple, and uh, you wish them uh, good luck in their family and so on. Okay, does that make sense? So they, you basically you give a little speech, and a lot of times when you propose a toast, here's a, here's a um, Google Images. For when you propose a toast, it's right before you add everyone drinks. So, and sometimes like in my in my family, we are all teetotalers, so we don't we do not drink. It's not not around my parents, and so um, so we we might. Proposed toast with milk, <laughs> you know, milk mm -hmm. or Coca Cola or something like that. Okay, um, and uh, uh, Jabo, have you yeah. ever made a speech at a at a wedding or or a special event? Uh, at my friend wedding, no, I I didn't make a speech. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I only at a meal. Yeah. At at my friend's wedding. So you only what? Uh, I mean, it some kind of meal, yeah. In my meal, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So remember about the L. So it's a m meal, okay. Because this is what I heard, and I knew it was wrong. I heard mirror. So say meal, meal, which means you have to move your tongue to your te te front teeth. Meal. So. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go on to the to the conversation. Um, okay. We're gonna have uh, two people uh, read the uh, read the dialogue. Um, how about is Marina? No, Marina has not come back. Okay. Um, Richard, can you be be Sarah? And uh, Odie, can you be Andy? So yeah, I begin. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. So I heard you, your brother got married last month. And Okay. How how was the wedding? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Hello. Yeah. yeah. How was the the wedding? Okay, maybe we can't. Odie? Okay, so Teddy, can you take over for Odie? Okay. Uh, really good, actually. The, the bridge and groom both look really happy, and the whole day went without a hitch. Great. Did they get married in a church? Thank you very much. Um, and now, uh, Igor, could you be Andy? And uh, Isaiah, could you be uh, Sarah? I can, no problem. Right here. Come on. So, Igor? So, Sarah needs to start. Oh, I see Andy. <laughs> right here, sorry. Yeah, they do. And after the service, they had a reception at the hotel ground. Did you make a speech? No, thank goodness. I just proposed a toast to the happy couple. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. So I guess the pressure is on you now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, are there any words or phrases here that you do not know? Uh, yes, uh, a hitch. Okay, so this is over here in the language corner. To uh, there is a, a saying that says go something to go without a hitch. Anybody know what that would that would actually mean? It's an idiom. To go without a hitch. That means to go smoothly. Let me go without any difficulties or any trouble. Exactly. To go without a hitch. That's exactly what it means. Um, uh, 
no uh, uh, no problems at all um, so if you if but however the word hitch itself um, the main meaning for a hitch is basically on a car you have a trailer hitch here and so I'm not sure exactly why um, they say they, why why it go without a hitch means that everything's gone well but if, if something goes smoothly it's gone without a hitch go smoothly or to go well okay thank goodness what does that mean <laughs> so it's, it's like uh, a relief to you <laughs> yeah it's kind of <laughs> it's a, a relief that's a good way to say that um, oh thank goodness uh, you can also there, say thank, thank, thank God. Yeah, maybe. some people might say do this. Thank God, thank God. Thank God thank, is Friday. Yeah, T G I F. And some people might actually because um, because they see possibly that saying God that way is 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 disrespectful. So some people actually say T G I F is thank goodness it's Friday. So. Um, all right, so um, uh, Andre, when did you get married? Uh, I got married about uh, six or five years ago. I don't remember exactly. Okay, and how how did the day go? Uh, so the day went without a hitch. Perfect. I knew. I was hoping you would follow me on that one. Um, okay, so it went without a hitch. Um, and see, and then Teddy and Z Zaya, how about you? How did the day go? Oh, the day went well. It went well. Yeah. Okay. And and Teddy, how about when when you got married? How did how did your wedding go? Uh, well, everything okay. <laughs> it went it went okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's go on. Ask and answer questions with Martin. So, okay, so uh, let's um, look at the uh, the um, the reading again and ask these questions. So, what happened last month? Yeah. And the and the brothers have his wedding. Okay. Yeah. So Andy's. Andy's brother have you can say got married. Oh, yeah. Say got married, or you can say had a wedding. Wedding. Okay. Where did they have a reception? They have a reception at uh, the Hotel Grand. Okay. And in English, with this word right here, it's obviously borrowed from another country, another language. So they might actually pronounce it Hotel Grande. Yeah. So I'm thinking because of the D, the E here, they'll say Grande. And I think, is that Spanish? Well, there's no, uh, no, uh, Richard, is it is, is Grande Spanish? Yeah. Grand? Yeah, it, that, that part is Spanish. And it's for Grand, right? And the meaning is something like like big or, or bigger okay. or, or something mm -hmm. like okay. that. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. What did Andy do at the reception? Mm, he just posed a toast to the happy couple. Uh-huh. So he proposed a toast. Which is, it, uh, Abimelech, it's kind of like a speech, but it's a very tiny speech. It's a... It's, you know, here's to um, uh, Sarah and, and Joe for uh, happiness the rest of their life. That's all, they, that's all a toast is. Uh, we can so, say, uh, to wish. Uh, to wish? To wish what? To wish... Um, to wish good luck? Yes, you can say best... Uh, when it, uh, with a toast, you can say best wishes. Mm-hmm. Uh, best wishes. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, do you remember what this? Um, what? What? Do you remember what this says? Let's see how much you guys remember. 
So uh, these are some of the sentences from here. We have have, get, propose, glad, go, make, and tie. Um, so uh, let's start with Isaiah. Can you read the first sentence? Um, so I had your brother get married last month. Okay, so because it's past tense, it's get, got, got. got so, okay. so I heard your brother got married last month. And um, Teddy, could you do the next one? That's right. He finally tied the knot. Tied the knot, yes. And number, uh, uh, Richard, could you read the next one? You got off easy. <laughs> yeah. How was the wedding? Very good. And very good. Uh, you made it sound like a question. Very good there. Okay, and then um, is, uh, Jabo. Yeah. Uh, really good, actually. The bride and crew uh, both look really happy, and the whole day went without a hitch. Perfect. Oh. Um, and then uh, next one, Igor. Uh, great. Did they get married in church? And then um, uh, Andre. Yeah, they did. And after the service, uh, they uh, had a reception at the uh, hotel grand. Okay, and then Abimelech. Okay, uh, did you make a speech? And then Isaiah. Uh, no, thank you, goodness. I just uh, proposed a toast to, to the happy couple. And then um, Teddy. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. So I guess the pressure is on you. No, isn't it? Okay, so what, is, what does that mean? So I guess the pressure is on you now, isn't it? So Jabba, what do you think that means? Uh, maybe Sarah just said that uh, uh, Andy maybe will get married in the future, so mm -hmm. so Andy got the pressure. Yeah. From family or from family and uh, friend. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Okay. Think about a wedding you went to either your own wedding or another wedding you've been to re recently. It says make notes in the blo box below, um, but uh, what we're going to do is think about these questions. Who got married? Where was the ceremony? What did you do with the wedding? Was there a reception or a party? What did you eat or drink? And you did you give or get any presents? Okay, so since we have uh, several countries represented in this, what I'd like you guys to do is tell us about a traditional wedding ceremony in your country, maybe your own or another, and everyone else uh, listen very closely and ask questions. Okay, and so we've got uh, Andre and. Igor, since you guys are from the same country, you can help each other out, and or say say part of it, and, and the other say part of it. So, uh, Abimelech, can you tell us about a traditional wedding uh, ceremony and a uh, wedding day for a couple in India? Well, okay. Uh, uh, in our country, in our country, usually. Uh, uh, the the groom the the groom uh, goes uh, with uh, with his uh, with his family to uh, bri bride family or place to uh, to get married there, and after that uh, after that uh, they got after 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 getting married uh, they come back to groom's home and. Uh, they, are, uh, they, uh, they, ha they have uh, reception and uh, people, uh, people come people come and uh, uh, they have party parties and uh, they dance and they uh, have food they have fun and, and there's no Okay, so the the mar the marriage is at the bride's home, and the reception yes. is at the groom's home. Yes. Okay, and um, are, are the, is it 
I mean, you said they dance and and really party. Party. Is it a long time that the party is? Uh, maybe one hour or two hours after mm -hmm. the reception. Mhm. Mm okay. Awesome. That that is that is different. And I I was I was invited to a wedding in India and I didn't get to go. But um, is that pretty much uh, for? I know that there's a lot of different cultures represented within India. Is it pretty much the same through the entire country? Um, because um, because uh, since uh, I am a Christian, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, most of the people are Hindus. Uh, uh, I don't know their uh, I don't know their uh, their uh, sister. There. Okay. Uh, yeah. They, they have, uh, yeah. Yeah, because I know there's Hindus and then Sikh as well, and mm -hmm. then and then Christians and. and yeah, because Islam. there are many communities in, in India. Mhm. Mm yeah. So, all right, next one, Andre and Igor. Tell me about Russia. Uh, I can tell, so my wedding uh, was kind of usual. Uh, in the morning, uh, we, uh, so we have kind of ceremony uh -huh. at, at the beginning. Uh, so my wife uh, was at uh, my Lowe's. So uh, there, and their home, and uh, I came there, and I had to do some uh, some tricky things to achieve her. So <laughs> I I wasn't able to go uh, to the building and just uh, without doing anything get her. I had to do some things. So there were a, a few tasks. And I, when I have, when I, when I did them, I got access to my wife, future wife. Uh, so, sorry, do you have this kind of thing when all brides' uh, best girlfriend just get together and ask you questions about your so <laughs> your bride, and you need to answer them in order to get to see her. Yes, I've never, yes. I've never, I've never, I've never, I haven't heard of that. But so the the, the brides, uh, the bride's girlfriends, will will go and make sure that the groom really is ready. Yeah, it's like they ask they ask pro provocative questions, like questions about your future bride, like questions <laughs> that uh, a bride only shares with girlfriends. <laughs> ah, wow. So the, is that the tasks you're talking about, Andre? Yes, it was. Uh, there were questions like, uh, "What is the size of the ring?" Uh huh. So, on her finger, and uh, what is her weight? Uh huh. And, uh, and some questions about her uh, childhood. So how well I knew her. Wow. They, usually, they also usually ask what's your favorite color. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, that yeah. reminds me. There's a there's a a a TV a TV game show from a back in this from the 60s and 70s called the Honeymooners. Um, and and what they would do is they would put um put the women in a box and ask the ask both the men and the women the same question to see if they got it right. And um, so it sounds like the same type of thing. Interesting. So is there a reception after the ceremony? Yes, after, after the ceremony, uh, people usually go uh, to do some uh, photo session. Okay, so, so after the ceremony. Yes, and then they go to the special building mm -hmm. where uh, where they get the documents, they are married, okay. and then uh, people have uh, a reception. Okay, so the official paperwork, the pa official paperwork, and then the reception. Is the is the ceremony um, at any special place? Like, Bimbalik said, it was at the gr a bride's home. Uh, we we had our wedding. Uh, at a cafe, we rent it for the whole day. Okay. Yeah, it's like you can have 
you can rent a nice place and there do, you can have a wedding. It's do, not people, cheap. do people have re weddings at the church at all? Well, it's not. I, I don't think it's usual. It's like they, uh, they just really go to the official place, they got their documents sealed, uh -huh. and then they just go to a cafe, like in Andre's case, or, or a hotel. Or restaurant. Or restaurant or something like that. Okay. But, wow. But but some people they m might prefer like uh, having a, a ceremony in the church. Okay. All right. Interesting. Okay. So Ajabo, could you talk to us about Taiwan? Taiwan. Okay. It, it depends what kind of uh, wedding you are going to have. Okay. Uh, in. Uh, Taiwan traditional uh, wedding. Uh, I mean, the couple will get uh, will engage first. Engage. Okay. And okay. the the male the groom will go to the bride's house to meet uh, her family, her her parents first, mm -hmm. and also get a ring to uh, to the bride. Yeah. Okay, fiance, and, uh, and fiance uh, meet group meets, and okay, bear and, with me. And maybe after six months, they they get married and uh, and they start start a ceremony in the restaurant. Okay. And also the couple also will send invitation to their friends, their relatives. Mm -hmm. That they know that that they are going to marry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and their their friends and their family will be invited in into a restaurant to have a big mm -hmm. meal. Yeah, meal. Okay. And uh, the family and relatives must bring something, maybe a present or cash, cash in a red envelope to to the couple. Mm hmm. Okay, awesome. That actually sounds very similar to um, my experience in Korean weddings. So they're, they're, they had a well. I went to a Korean wedding actually, very similar to this. And then I went to one where you sat in, you stood, in, you sat in the church for two hours first. <laughs> so <laughs> depended. Um, okay, and how about Brazil? No, not Brazil, Richard. You're Colombia, right? Colombia. Yeah. So what are what's the traditions in in Colombia? Well, it, it's it's not pretty different than than United States, I, I guess, because uh, the groom and the and the bride have a ceremony into a church, and right. after the ceremony, have yeah, accordingly with the, with the with the time. I mean, if if the ceremony is in the night or in the morning, mm -hmm. uh. uh have a lunch, a lunch or or a dinner, in 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 the home of of the gloom or the right. Yeah, okay. um, at one of the homes. Okay. Yeah, and after that, uh, it's common. It's usually have a, a reception. Mm -hmm. uh, this reception could be into um into a. Uh, a place, a uh, renting place, or in the same house where have the the lunch or dinner. Okay. Um, uh, in some time of the of the party or of the reception, stop uh, for uh, for 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 see the the, the gifts that okay. the people. Okay. The people give to. To the couple. Um, mm -hmm. After that, uh, just go to directly to the honeymoon. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the honeymoon starts. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, actually, what you've described is very similar, and I kind of got confused when you were talking about it, because in in the U.S., uh, we'll have the ceremony at the church, or if you're not if you're not religious, it might be a hotel or something like that, and then they'll have the reception. And if the if the um, 
if, if the wedding is during lunch or dinner time, then during the reception they will serve uh, lunch or dinner food. If they yeah. have it in the like at two o'clock in the afternoon, they will only serve serve cake and ice cream. So it really depends. And and some families like my sister and her husband had the ceremony at the church. They did lunch. They did did lunch with close family, and then they had the reception next door at the school, um, where where my sister taught uh, a couple hours later. So. But you are right. It's Colombia is actually very similar. So, okay, how, Indonesia. Teddy, could you tell us about Indonesia? Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, after I did all prep uh, preparation, uh -huh. I pick up my bride uh, in to 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 her house uh, and at at his house. We did the tea ceremony. Tea ceremony. The tea ceremony uh -huh. is uh, our culture. Uh -huh. uh, we give tea to our family to drink, and they give us something. Give up something. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after after that, we went to a monastery because uh, we are Buddhist. Okay. Uh, to did the wedding ceremony. Okay, so and then uh, a tea, cer tea ceremony, and then another ceremony at the monastery. Yes. Uh, right. At the night, we did a wedding reception in at, a wedding is, building. Is it monastery uh, or at the temple? Uh, in a wedding building. Okay. Uh, the, the party. Okay. At the night. Uh, over there, uh, we cut the cake, propose the toast with wine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I gave a wedding ring to my bride. And you gave the ring at the at the reception. Yes. Oh wow! Okay. He gave ring. Did you all did you all kiss your, did you kiss her uh, during this at all? Yes. Okay. Um, my brother and her and her. My sister and her husband didn't kiss at all during the entire thing. Everybody kept waiting for them to kiss, but they didn't. So, okay, how about um, this is this is actually interesting. Uh, so, because it's a tea cere a traditional tea ceremony, and then you have then you go to the temple or the monastery and have the um, have another uh, another ceremony, and then then the party. Awesome. How about Mongolia? Zaya, talk to us about Mongolia. Okay. So, <clears throat> Mongolia is uh, generally two types of the weddings. So one is the, especially in the city, it's just, just like uh, international weddings, and also one another one is the, in the countryside. It's a little bit uh, traditional. Uh huh. Yes, uh, countryside. I would like to talking about more countryside. So. Okay. So generally, groom. Uh, oh, sorry. Right, groom. Groom, right? The groom. Yeah, that would be you. Groom is uh, groom, and with uh, some relatives, uh, go to the bride's home in midnight. At midnight. Yeah, generally midnight. Oh. Okay. And. And uh, they 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 come back and they bring your uh, bride and uh, some bride brides relatives, and uh, then come back into the uh, your own homes. So there is a pictures of the groom's mm -hmm. uh, traditional houses that that's called gear. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, after about in the in the in the moon, noon, um, mid midday, so uh, brides uh, relatives come into the uh, groom's home and begin to the wedding celebrations. The bride's party. Yeah, bride's, bride's party. Uh, yes, bride's party, eating and also uh, starts. give uh, some gi gifts and drink and uh, make toasts like that. Uh huh. So okay. It generally takes um, four or six hours. From, okay. From six hours, and uh -huh. then uh, uh, big 
celebration to see off the bride's guests. Okay. Yes. Uh, it uh, it's a uh, it uh, it will also in the next to the bride's home. Mm -hmm. And uh, then bride only bride go to the this how to say this celebration or something. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. And oh. uh, uh huh. And it's generally that's finished. <laughs> it takes uh, especially one day. Okay. And uh, An entire after day. The, yeah, after the wedding, wedding ceremony, uh -huh. and maybe tomorrow's and uh, the couples, married couples, went to the uh, all the relatives' home. Okay, and then That's they amazing. had. Yeah, it takes a lot of time and it's very shying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and yeah, that. Uh... Wow. Okay, one thing that uh, you you mentioned that you were calling them the electives. In English, we'll call that the wedding party. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, the the wedding party and um, the what the the men are called groomsmen and the women are called bridesmaids. Oh, okay. And um, however, the the there's like there's a main groomsman and he's he's called the the best man best man what do you... the best man in english if there's mm. there's one particular one that uh it is more than the others and then and then we've got um the the also the 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 either the maid or the matron of honor so oh, mm -hmm. I was in I was in a wedding um, a couple years ago, and she had one, two, three, four. Uh, f she had five bridesmaids, mm -hmm. and her, her and her uh, her maid of honor, her, actually her, the her, the matron of honor, was her younger sister who was already married, and so because of that, they called her the matron of honor. So if if one of the bridesmaids is already married. They're actually brides. They're she's the the matron. So that's one difference. Um, if you're if if the the wedding party is already married. So so that's a different vocabulary for you all. So anyway, this is actually quite interesting. I, 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 it'd be really fun to be at these different weddings. So the groom has to actually be accepted by the bride's friends. Um, Andre and um, Igor, does it ever happen that a, a groom, a groom, a bride's, the bride's, uh, uh, the bride's maids do not accept the groom? I have never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not supposed uh, to make, uh, to stalk a groom. It's, it's uh -huh. not just for fun. Is this for fun? It sounds like it sounds like a hoot. I I might I, I, that that sounds really fun. Really, you know, just to check out. <laughs> it's like uh, when my sister was married, because uh -huh. <laughs> her husband, her future husband, uh, he just got about two answers out of I think ten questions. Oh really? He only got two <laughs> two correct out of ten. Oh wow. Yeah, like, Though the questions are really funny, it's like uh -huh. uh, there was no way for him to know that. <laughs> That's that is funny. That is really funny. Okay, so we're gonna move over and uh, oh wait, I guess we don't need to do this. We only have a few minutes left. Let's go ahead and ask and answer questions here on the bottom. Let's start with Abimelech, and uh, could you ask uh, somebody one of these questions? Okay. Uh, I'll ask to Jaya. Okay. Uh, do, do you enjoy uh, going to weddings? Yes, I like in the, uh, I like to go to the weddings because it's a very nice event of my relatives or friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Excellent. Zaya, could you ask a question? So I would like to ask him about. About from Teddy. Mm -hmm. so how much does the typical wedding cost in Indonesia? Uh, 
the wedding cost is around 150 million rupees. So, how much is that in euro or dollar? <laughs> uh, around 15,000 dollars. Oh, wow. That's as much as a car. <laughs> yes. I, <laughs> Generally, who will pay it? It's paid by your groom or bride or uh, bride's uh, family. <laughs> <laughs> It's all uh, for for uh, for all uh, reception building and the food. Okay. Yes, of course. Who is responsibly uh, responsible for this cost? I mean, yeah. <laughs> So oh. does it, does a bride's father pay for it, like in my country, or is it everyone that pays for it? Yes, oh, yes. my my parents and me. Okay, so um, the it's a it's a groom's family that pays for it. Uh, yes. Wow. Okay. And in some cultures, like in my culture, the the bride's family pays for the wedding, and then in in the Korean culture, the everyone pays. Basically, that's why they get gifts of cash because everybody pays for it. it. In Taiwan, is that the same? Does everybody pay for it? Mm. Zabo. Pay, pay for what? For the YouTube? wedding. The pay wedding. Uh, usually, the uh, the couple's family and the entire parents. both yeah. both sides. Yeah, both sides. Is that, and that's is that why people bring money to the wedding? To help pay for the wedding, uh, they give the money at the ceremony. Okay. At, at the ceremony, at, also at the uh, reception. Yeah, reception. Mm -hmm. They okay. give the money to the couple. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So Teddy, could you choose a question? Okay. Uh, for Igor. To Igor. Okay. Yes, I'm listening. <laughs> Have weddings changed in the last few years? <laughs> well, I, I don't know if they really changed. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think it's become more loose. It's like I think and maybe like twenty twenty years ago, a wedding would a typical wedding would cost a lot, but right now it's like. Uh, whatever money you have, you can have a really, uh, a really cheap wedding, or you can have a really <laughs> rich wedding. It all depends on the money you have. But I think the real customs they're still the same, no problem. <laughs> when when you say they're that it's loose, what do you mean by that? Well, it's like you don't really have <laughs> to follow up all the traditions. Okay, so you can you have the you can choose which traditions you want to follow and which traditions you don't. Also, you know, like it was supposed that her future husband pays for all the wedding. Mm -hmm. Right now, I think it's it's considered very very cool if your future husband can afford the wedding ceremony and pay for the wedding party. But I think right now it's more like all the Mm. All the related families, they just chip in. Okay, so you would say instead of relative families, you just say all the relatives. Yeah, yeah. but usually it's not just all the relatives, just uh, like uh, the closest family, like mm -hmm. uh, brides and grooms, father and mother, maybe mm -hmm. grandfather and grandmother. Okay, so the close then in that respect you would say the the close family members. Yeah. <laughs> okay, excellent. All right, um, Igor, could you choose a question? Okay. Uh, And you can choose any. It, it can be the same question that's already uh, been asked. I would like to ask Andre. Uh, have you ever given a speech at the wedding? Would you like to again? Mm -hmm. I actually I I have been to. Uh, waiting once, so uh, it's just mine. Uh, and it was a very, it was very a strange invitation in invitation because I had uh, not been that person for 
a few years, and then I got in invited. And I came there, uh, and uh, it was a bit weird. So uh, I, of course, I made a, I, I proposed a toast. Uh, I said a few words about him, and there were, I, I didn't know his, uh, huh. his bride, and uh, I felt a bit awkward because I knew him only at school and uh, quite a few years had passed and uh, so yeah I, actually I would like to to give a speech uh, for my close friends and for my brother when he gets married one day. Uh, a follow-up question here if I may. Uh, yes, you may. Yes, you may. Uh, when you were at your wedding, at that wedding or your wedding, uh, uh, have you per uh, did you per participate in any games like when Tamada gives games <laughs> at the wedding party? Yes, uh, usually in Russia. It uh, is a bit of uh, clarification for others. We have a special person who conducts the uh, process of uh, reception. So there are games for guests and uh, the couple. Yes, I participated in them. It uh, was what? funny. <laughs> and I do remember which kind of games you, you participated in. Uh, it was some some games uh, with the uh, dancing, and I don't really remember. Mm, okay. Well, thank you very much, everyone. I hope you learned some new words and vocabulary, and got a chance to talk about uh, this topic. Um, I appreciate your participation in class, and um, everyone. Uh, Happy Saturday for all of you. Since it's uh, one more minute, it'll be Saturday for um, for Rob, uh, Richard as well. <laughs> so, see you all later. Bye. Thank see you. you. Bye. 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 Okay. See you around.